back to my channel. I'm Kristen, the maker behind Yarn Theory, and today we are continuing our holiday series. For this series, each week until Christmas, I'll be sharing a quick and easy project that you can complete in time for the holidays. Today we will be making a clutch wristlet with a zipper closure added. What I love about this project is that you can easily customize it by changing the size or stitch that you use. So have fun with it and get creative. The stitch feature today is the waistcoat stitch, and if you're unfamiliar with this stitch, please watch the tutorial that is on my channel. I've included a link to it and the written pattern in the description box below. And lastly, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's a big help to me, and you'll be notified each time I post a tutorial. Now let's get started. So today's project has a lot more materials than some of our past projects have had, but don't worry, these things are very easy to find. I will provide links to all of the items in the description box and also in the blog post. But if you have any questions about anything, definitely don't hesitate to post in the comments below. So we'll get started by making a slip knot and chaining 21. Working in the second chain from your hook, you'll make two single crochet stitches and then you'll place one single crochet stitch in each of the next 18 chains. last chain you'll make four single crochet stitches and then you'll begin to work on the other side of your fabric that you're creating and you'll continue by placing one single crochet stitch in the next 18 chains Once you get back to that first chain that you worked in, you'll place two single crochets in that chain and then you'll place your stitch marker and we'll be working in the round. And so at this point, you'll start to work in the waistcoat stitch and you'll place one waistcoat single crochet stitch into each stitch around. And we're going to continue this for a total of 15 rounds. almost done with our clutch and I'm stopping here on round 14 because I wanted to show you how I add the ring that we'll be using to attach our strap. So on the final stitch of that round I just will make a waistcoat stitch through the ring to attach it to our bag and I like this because it just makes it extra secure you don't have to worry about it coming out. And now I'll continue around to complete round 15 and then I'll come back to show you what we do next. So here I'm 
just cutting the cord and finishing off my work, leaving my ends, and then we'll move on to the next part of this project. Here is our completed clutch. I'm showing you the placement of the ring and also just the texture of the fabric that we've created. What I love about using the waistcoat stitch is that it creates a really dense, tight fabric. So you don't have to worry about lining this because the stitches are very close together. Nothing will come through them. So for your strap, you can use any technique that you want. I use the I-cord technique and I have a tutorial for this on my channel, I will link it below. So for the zipper, I picked this up from my local Joann's. If you are unable to find a zipper that is the exact size of your pouch, don't worry. You're able to fold that end inside of your pouch and you won't see it. I'm a novice sewer. So I'm going to make this as simple as I can. I plan to pin the sides of my zipper to the inside of my clutch using my T-pins. And then I'll go back with my sewing needle and thread and sew them to attach them to each side of my pouch. struggle I am done adding the zipper to our clutch and it wasn't so bad so I definitely think I'll incorporate zippers into handbags and purses that I make in the future completes this week's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing what you all make. If you have any questions, definitely drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.